Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, here we have hands-on experience number 10. Uh, this topic is because it's very important, it's very common. I like to go a little more detail. We have a case here first. Uh, you are getting this image. First of all, you know uh, if the patient has pleural effusion, pericardial effusion, and you know one of the evaluation for uh, pericardial effusion is measurement. First of all, based on this view, if you want to measure it and by M mode, uh, then the, the, we can measure it on 2D or M mode, but usually the best is M mode. Uh, I'm going to answer a little later. Which one is correct if you want to put cursor for M mode? This one, this one, or this one, and why? And why we measure just for grading or something else? Here, another one, as apical, almost apical tree. What those structure area are? This one, this one, this one, and here. Here we have another one or two cases. First one, this patient has uh, what? Is that pleural effusion or pericardial effusion? Second, what is this structure and this structure? Uh, what about this one? Does the patient have pericardial effusion or pleural effusion or both or what? And what those are structure, the area? This one, this one, and this one. Okay, you are going to the subcostal, finding the IVC, then you're finding left and right. We got it this uh, two uh, different patient. One of them is this and another is this one. What patient has, what finding we are seeing in these uh, two clips, each of them. Here we have a patient uh, with the chest, uh, chest pressure and shortness of breath ER. We do this apical for chamber view. Uh, first of all, what the patient has here on this finding and what is this uh, mid gray equation is that this level what about here is that uh, what is that pleural or pericardial effusion then uh, you do decided based on finding you do uh, res uh, respiratory variation this one on the mitral valve which of your measurement you have to measure you know uh, E uh, at the minimum inspiration and expiration where is the those measurement? Which of them is correct? Two, you have to measure two of them. Which of those two are correct? Then you get it, measure it, and you get these numbers. Is that respiratory variation positive or, uh, or not? Is abnormal or not? One of the, our studies is a mode on the pericardial effusion. Here we can see apical or the, the, we did uh, M mode here. Why we do M mode on this level? And what is the finding probability? Here we have another patient. You got it, PZAX, and you do M mode. <coughs> on this M mode, <coughs> where is the pericardial effusion? Where is right ventricular free valve? Where is the septum? And where is a posterior of pericardial effusion? Those two spots that you can see on 2D, where are those structure and area on the M mode? One of the <coughs> strong evidence for the cardiac tamponade is uh, collapsibility or collapsing of the right ventricle. Which uh, view and window is the best for evaluation of this uh, finding? Second, you get in, you decided to do on this one, you do, uh, and you don't have that classic window for evaluation of the right ventricular collapse. Is that collapsing or not? You, but you have a good image on <coughs> of access for chamber, as you can see here. Which one is <coughs> correct line for evaluation? This cursor should be this way, this way, or this way. 
and based on that uh, where is the right ventricular free wall right ventricle and left atrium and so on it in other word in m mode give uh, me each those uh, structure belong to the what here we have a patient suspicious to the cardiac tamponade we do ivc and we decided to do middle hepatic vein we get it this doppler curve each of those component and wave are uh, what second how you can differentiate it the finding is that belong to the normal is it abnormal or no belong to those other condition how you can differentiate it constrictive pericarditis restrictive cardiomyopathy cardiac tamponade constrictive pericarditis and the last one does non-dilated ivc here is dilated and fixed non-collapsible but if the uh, ivc was not dilated and collapsible more than 50 percent does that one rule out cardiac tamponade if not at what situation or conditions we can expect ivc not be dilated and is collapsible even patient can have cardiac tamponade now let's go to the explanation for all of them 